Hi everybody, it's the tree. <laughs> and so anyhow, um I wasn't able to leave yesterday to go to Laura's to give her her um diamond or her magic miracle. Um I wasn't allowed to leave <laughs> the house again. And she didn't have a ride over here, so I told her to watch the videos. <laughs> And so I haven't talked to her since because well, my phone is out of minutes and um, she probably didn't want to call Larry's phone. Nobody really wants to call Larry's phone. Um, so anyhow, I'm just checking in and letting you guys know that well, in Ashiana she broke. Now there's, well, there's seven pieces now of her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cigarette. <laughs> I'm almost out of my fake weed, so I'm going to start jonesing. Again, I've been jonesing all day. <coughs> I've been jonesing all night. I've been jonesing, jonesing. But I know that I will be able to wield the magic of Inashiana the more I raise my vibration, which is keeping the love vibration alive inside of me. And by raising that vibration, which is my love for you, and this world, and Ashiana, and my children, and everyone, everyone. <laughs> I need to get pure, though. And I'm hopefully I can do, the, do this by myself. Well, Ashiana is helping me, but... Still, and <laughs> it looks like a cigarette. But Nashiana, 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 Nashiana. Inashiana, 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 Inashiana. Inashiana, 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 Inashiana. You are so clean and so pristine and so pretty. You are so clean and so pristine and so pretty. In Ashiana. In Ashiana. In Ashiana. In Ashiana. Inashiana, 
and Ashiana and Ashiona, the ocean, you know, the ocean and Ashiana, and that's the feminine derivative of Enoch. I haven't got it, I don't know, I haven't got all the information yet. Today, yesterday, I've kind of cut myself off from receiving too much information. I've just been uh, trying to keep, I mean, some days I don't feel very much emotion. And it's kind of a struggle. But knowing that you guys are there, you, knowing that you are there, that's what keeps me going. Knowing that you're there and knowing that you're there, <laughs> knowing that you're there. You know, there are so many creations in the laboratories and the science laboratories. Look at all the different insects and um, all the different bugs and different reptiles and different fish and different animals and mammals. I mean, look at how, how many different species are on this world. <laughs> well, they were all created and it turns out that all of the creations that are nothing like us at all, um, like frogs and butterflies and da da da, it turns out that all of those creations were created by decoding certain portions of the DNA inside of the human. The human. Inside our DNA and our blood holds the blueprint for all of these creations. All of them. Now the problem here is what the scientists are doing now is they are creating... There's a way to create naturally without hurting... But there's a way to do it right. You know, genetics is not bad. Creation is not bad. Um, the, but, but, but the way that life is being created now without love and for experiments and the horrible suffering and torture and the horrible, horrible lives that they have to go through, the ones that are created in the laboratories, you know, like most of them don't turn out, you know, they, they do it until they get it right, you know, like breeding dogs. You know, the, all the dogs come from a wolf, you know, but look at all the different kinds of dogs, but the ones that don't live up to their expectations or their standards, you know, you imagine how many millions and millions of animals are created that are failed experiments or that are not up to, up to standard or not the desired result. And so what happens to those babies? What happens to those animals? Well, they're doing it to humans too. They just don't tell you about it on the news because it's not ethical. But they do and they are. I'm going to have to read you again those military documents that were sent to me um, explaining how they are taking humans and augmenting their body parts and um, turning them into like bionic men, you know, bionic people with the, doing it to soldiers and stuff, you know, and um, also kidnap kids, you know, and people from other countries and they, they make, they're taking creation and then they're adding microchips and they're adding um, machinery and they're adding things to the the um, blueprint that is not natural and that turns us into a not human which is not human okay like turning us into half machine half human you know if somebody wants to be bionic or have bionic parts or something like that you know to make them run faster, or jump higher, or whatever. That should be a decision of each individual, free will. But of course, none of those things, because there are a lot of good things in science that they have developed that have made it so that we can reverse our aging, regenerate our body parts, um, you know, cuts that need stitches, they can heal in a matter of hours, they can, um, you know, clone our body parts, you know, like if your liver is bad or your heart's bad, they can clone them in perfection in incubation chamber or their incubation tank, whatever, in a matter of hours, okay? And they can grow anything they want, and they are, but they're doing it without love, and they're doing it to create 
beings, beings that are under their control, completely under their control, in order to um, take over the world with. Okay, turning humans into gods under the mind, under their control, though. So they're really the gods, but they self-proclaimed gods behind the characters they're creating which have superhuman powers and soon they will be showing up on the scene humans that can do superhuman things that we can't do and that is because they are being altered in the, the laboratories with machinery and um, computer parts and um, static is one big thing um, Anyhow, I'm going to start reading to you the letters from Pandar, I suppose. I think I'm just going to start that today. I keep saying I'm going to do it, and I haven't started yet, but in order for you to get the full picture of things, you know, what's going on, you need to understand the reptilians. You need to understand the Sangarian. You need to understand how they have been on this world. They are alien to the human race, but they are not alien to this world. They are not. And... The more you understand about them, the more you're going to understand what has happened throughout your entire history, and you're going to understand why things are happening the way they are happening now. But like I said, uh, the Queen Elizabeth, she's the leader of the Illuminati and the head of the Freemasons and all. You know, she's a reptilian, but she's of over the world, but this world is being run by um, 7 plus 1 equals 8, so 8 different beings that are reptilian that are different than the reptilians we have here. These ones are like 15 feet tall and they have big penises and they um, are very evil evil, and they are coming from Ceres, S-I-R-I-U-S, which is underneath the ocean floor. Okay, and the moon also is underneath the ocean floor. Um, anyhow. <laughs> Elio, 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 Elio. El, e -L means the hand of God, the arm of God, giving out the gift, you know, to the people from God. E-L, that means the gift from God, the hand, arm of God. And Leo is the lion, which is, um, well, the resurrected Jesus Christ, the second coming is supposed to look, you know, do your homework, check him. This is Leo the Lion is significant in that. Um, Israel, Isis, Ra, and El. El, the hand of God at the end. Isis, Ra, there's Israel, and then Israel. They spell them different ways in order to confuse us, you know, like the Persians. The full-blooded Persians that run Bohem that own Bohemian Grove and stuff—they're not the same Persians as the Persians. There's they, they, the spelling, like one letter or one, but they change the letters around and they change the spelling around in order to be able to confuse us and um, cloak themselves, I suppose. You could say. Elio, oh, oh, Elio, Elio. Elio, Elio. Okay, I've had about enough of that, dude. He's here on Earth. He's kind of his kid. And I'm not, anyhow. I'm just, I pretty much have given up on that guy. Somebody else will come first and get his crown before he gets here, so, you know, whoever. It's just, you know, everybody has the choice. Fewer called, even fewer come. That's it. Inashiana, 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 Inashiana. Sorry, I'm so close.